Okay, thank you, Chair. Good morning. I'm Taro Mehara from Osaka, Japan. Uh, first talk, actually, I have three talks today. And first talk, the, uh, the request is the history and the indication, but mainly history I want to tell here. And here's my disclosure. Uh, first, I want to tell why should I improve shoulder function with a local repair. Yesterday, uh, the, uh, the, someone asked, asked me, and uh, should I improve shoulder stability? It's a biomechanical study already show, and also decrease pain because there are no, impin no subcranial impingement at all before, the, because there are any uh, the graft in between the acromion and the humeral head. And then improve delta function. And also increase tension, subscapular and inference, inference tendon because I do the uh, subscapular repair and also the posterior size of suture between the graft and the posterior tendon. Then restore for scapular levy yesterday he show he told uh, to, to to us the actual, then then actual input shoulder function. This is the mechanism of the show. Then next I want to tell the history of the show. Why did I start a show? It's a long time ago, 2002. I was in the uh, Orspec Biomax Laboratory, University of California. It's a professor, Tyler Israel, and I did many biomechanical studies in cardiac shoulder. So I know the shoulder anatomy very, very well um, because there are two or 300 uh, cadaver uh, uh, there I dissected at that time. Then uh, I realized the primary stabilizer in the gram head joint in the shoulder capsule because the, the, at that time my main, the, my, my main research was anterior instability study. So maybe, as, as you know, this uh, is the concept, but uh, at that time the super shoulder capsule is uh, actually like a neglected region. No one focused on super shoulder capsule at that time. Now, maybe may, many doctors focus on shoulder capsule, but uh, uh, at that time no one uh, the, uh, focused on shoulder capsule. But uh, I I know the shoulder capsule super side also. And after I cut the shoulder capsule, the suddenly the tumor had moved very, very too much actually there. Uh, a very unstable shoulder. So, I, at that time, I know that if I can make shoulder capsule, maybe the, we can make a, a big, good stability in even the irreparable capture. That's my idea I, I, when I was in the Long Beach in 2002. And also, this study, the Dr. Nimura study, very excellent study, this dot area. It's uh, uh, actually the, uh, uh, the attachment of the shoulder capsule. Surprisingly, almost half of the greater tuberosity is a shoulder capsule attachment, not rotor cuff tendon. It means the shoulder capsule should have an important role in the granular joint. So I hypothesize that the reconstruction of the super capsule may be useful to pre prevent supermigration of the femoral head and support impingement for the parallel cuff tear. That, that is my hypothesis. And then I designed uh, this, this surgical technique when I inserted the granule, the, uh, 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 and the uh, the great tuberosity, we can may reconstruct the special cuff. So maybe if you see this uh, picture now, maybe most of the doctors may say they're a good idea, but at that time, no one believed this the, uh, concept, and uh, just everyone said it's crazy concept. So even the cataract study could not be allowed because the patch graph study should, was not uh, believed to be effective in the United States. So in 2005, this idea almost gone. And uh, I want to show this a this a golf movie. There, yeah, if you do the go playing golf, maybe everyone tried the hole in one, but it's not so easy. But uh, maybe in your life, maybe a couple of times you can have maybe sometimes lucky or miracle event. This is miracle shot. <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> next year uh, another miracle shot. Yeah, the very, yeah, very miracle shot. Actually, the, uh, I, I got in 2005 and uh, uh, 
uh, grant, Japanese government grant in, in 2005 for the uh, SGR. So that is a miracle show. If I can get the, the, the research grant, biomedical research, laboratory can allow to do the biomedical study. So finally, I could make a uh, SGR for the, this is the even cataract shoulder, this is the really first SGR in 2005. And uh, I did, I could finally, I could make a biomedical study of the SGR and I made a super translation as I expected, a very nice result. Uh, the uh, I the rotated uh, RCT mean road cafeteria model created the super translation increase so it means the super migration the tendon patch is a conventional patch graft surgery the uh, the decrease the super translation but it did not restart to the intact level but uh, super cafeteria reconstruction completely normal to the intact level so actually I was very excited from the, with this result but. Uh, Again, no one believed this result. That's why the, I did this biomedical study in 2005, but uh, published in 2012, because the, uh, even AOS, OLS, Japan Shoulder Society meeting, J Japan Orthopedic Association meeting, the all rejected this abstract. But I believe this result, so I did the, 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 this surgery for the patient in 2007. This is the really fast SGR patient, 60 years male. He was gardener, and he had shoulder pain, and I did the injection physical therapy very well, but I did not improve, but he wanted to return to the work, so we, he wanted to do the surgery. Then we did surgery. This is the real fast surgery, this posterior view, and the two, 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 two chunk of the granite. Then this is a graft. Now I'm attaching all of the suture outside the body to the graft, but another time the inside the joint. Then white part is graft, and the red part is nitrogen tendon. This is the final view. Looks like a very nice road cast tendon repair, but uh, this white part is graft, and the red part is a tendon. And from Graham head joint, graft tension is good. Then the, uh, after surgery, a condition increased and the uh, MRI showed the uh, graft is healed, even two years of surgery, and uh, six months of surgery, he returned to the job, the gardener. Then, uh, but uh, I, I thought that it was too good, so the, uh, uh, but that's why the, I just after this surgery, I did not tell this result to the everyone, but because I did not believe this result, <laughs> but I keep doing the uh, this surgery, and finally, I published the first uh, 24 cases of the short-term clinical outcome in the general arthroscopy. And at that time, there, it, it's not so bad, but still 20, 20%, around 20% of the retail rate. Now, three, around 3%, but still higher. But even though the uh, good clinical outcome, then I keep doing Then in finally 2016, I I presented 100 patients of clinical outcome to the uh, AOS meeting, and I want to show briefly actual elevation in country increase from 92 to 149 degree, and actual external rotation from 26 to 42 degree. And functional outcome, JOA SES score both improved after surgery after 92 and 93, very nice result. And uh, then I keep doing this surgery until 2018. Uh, the, the total 480 cases I did show, and last year around 100 cases I did. So now almost 600. But, the, but actually, I have some complication. Uh, graft tear around 3.3 percent, and infection PAC or PAC 1.7 percent, uncaproward 1.5 percent, severe stiffness, and 0.8 percent retail of the infrastructure tendon, 0.6 percent. But uh, mostly the early cases, I changed the uh, modify the technique. Graft tear actually decreased because I found the proper graft side and how to fix the graft. And the infection, I changed draping, draping and also I studied the Chlorhexidine, chlorhexidine the prevent the PACNA infection. So now decrease the rate and the anchor pull. I change the anchor and the retail in the infrastructure tandem. I stopped the partial repair. When I studied this surgery, I did the partial repair first, then I did SGR. That's why the uh, repair the infrastructure tandem was too tight, but uh, that's why the partial. Actually, the tear on the uh, infrastructure tendon. So I stopped the partial repair and severe stiffness. 
the, I stopped the anterior suture and uh, change abduction angle from 45 abduction to 30 degree. Then no, now 0% the severe stiffness. So recent three years, I have com my complication graph tear less than 3%, infection 1%, that's all. So very low rate complication, that is a good advantage. So I want to show one more recent study. In three students studying, I do the su supracarpal reconstruction with a low carpal That is very excellent results. I recommend this surgery. I want to show the clinical technique. The for elbow road cartier graft, I recommend six to eight millimeter, very thick graft. But HR for reinforcement, <coughs> just one layer, so very thin. Then the all the only the glenoid side one anchor and the lateral side the same as the road carpier. All suture that attach the graft graft to the outside body, then inside the graft, then fix the graft on the glenoid, then. Same using the fiber tape and fiber wire, we repair the tendon over the grass. That's it. Then the, uh, this MRI shows the uh, left side before surgery. The muscle quality is not so bad, but tendon is a very, oh, very poor quality, but the right, right side is after surgery. The, the, even the very the denoted tendon tear, but the, actually after surgery, you can see the good the tendon tissues there, but actually half of that the uh, uh, graft, fasciolatic graft. And uh, I published this study in the blue bar is just a cough repair, 4.4% retail rate in the medial size tear. Uh, but uh, if you add the road cough repair, uh, uh, shelf for the road cough repair, now 0% retail rate. Uh, this is uh, only the 34 patients, but so far I have done this surgery more than 200, but still 0% retail, excellent results. So that's why I recommend this surgery. And finally, my I want to show my treatment al al algorithm for road culture by using SEO. If you do SEO, use SEO, the treatment strategy is very different, very changing. Acute tear, repairable and good quality of the tendon, of course, I do a lot of repair, but repairable but poor quality. Now I do road car repair plus HCR, and the repair road car repair, of course I do the HCR, and I checked how much grade, then how much grade, one to four B, I do the arthroscopic HCR, and four, four B in the old patient, and five, I do rotor and total shoulder plus HCR, or reverse shoulder arthroplasty now. And the final slide is uh, my uh, the treatment of Lord Cartier in 2018. The 30, 28% non-operative treatment because most of the patient already finished the non-operative treatment before he come, they come to the, my clinic. So only the 28% non-operative treatment. But uh, around 30% I do surgery and the blood money 0.5%, road carpet around 23%, HR for road reinforcement uh, with road carpet of 15%, and HR 32.5%, and reverse only 0.5%. And uh, surprisingly, the, uh, maybe the HCR for reinforcement group may be the uh, very high rate of the uh, retail if you do the lot of alone. But now, the, uh, actually, the own, the, I do the good quality tandem, I do the calf repair, so retail rate and supply is 0% in 2018. And also HCR for reinforcement, 0% on the only the HCR group, I had a graph tier 2%. So if you use HCR, the retail rate or graph tear rate very decreased decrease to very, very well, and the um, satisfaction rate, the, 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 uh, be, most of the patients satisfy very well. And take home message, yes, HR can change your strategy for rot cough tear because HR provides good clinical outcome, not only the HR patient, but also a rot cough repair alone patient. Thank you for attention.